Yo, what up guys? So I have a bunch of things planned for myself to do today. Mostly errands and, well, mainly catching up with myself. So first off, we're gonna make a quick stop at the post office to send off the most recent order of stickers. Uh, mind you, this isn't wave three. It's just extra stickers that I had lying around that I just decided to put up on the web store, so. Also, I've been trying to look for winter tires for my Mazda and I managed to find cheap wheels with winter tires uh, from this tire supplier so I gave them a call and hopefully they can give me a shout maybe I'll even have a chance to bring in my Mazda today and have them install the new wheels and tires that's if they give me a call if I don't end up going to this tire place to pick up the wheels and tires then I'll probably go to Ben's house to have him look over my Mazda this is really just because I kind of want a second opinion on it so I'm actually gonna have a real mechanic inspect the car when I posted that uh, tour video of the Mazda MX-3 I only saw this after I watched the video but as you guys saw there's like a exhaust leak or a hole in the exhaust or something but smoke was coming out from the bottom of it so we'll have to check that too now as usual I'm probably gonna bring my laptop and all of my drawing supplies uh, go to a cafe I think sugar and caffeine motivates me to work harder or maybe it's the sugar and caffeine after doing all of this other stuff I plan on going to this JDM store one of the last only remaining JDM stores in the city I'll obviously bring you guys along just to show you guys what's up but they have like Hello Kitty and Gundams and Totoro and uh, woo! Woo! just a whole bunch of stuff oh and the JDM part uh, they actually like half the store is divided into Two halves. One half is all like anime stuff and cute things and the other half is car related uh, paraphernalia. So you can find like lanyards, wide rear view mirrors, um, air fresheners, just stuff for your car, really. But anyways, I have lots of stuff to do today, lots of things to catch up on, and lots of errands to run, so let's just get it. Okay, so it's November. This I would consider insanely beautiful. Oh, there's no snow on the ground. I could definitely get used to this kind of weather. So whoever did whatever to please our gods, um, thank you. I'm hoping to pick up a new bumper for this thing. If I can get a hold of the guy who's selling it. But he lives like an hour outside of Calgary, so we'll see. For anyone who cares, I'm selling these Brad seats on my big cartel store. Oh my Bruno, woohoo! So first stop, post office. We're at the post office. Now I'm gonna bring you guys inside. There's still like 70 orders that are going out to the US. Sticker orders that I have to put stamps on. So yeah, let's do that. Alright, so this is where that JDM store is. I'm gonna take you inside, but I'm gonna switch to my GoPro.
So right now I'm at Tim Hortons and this is going to be my temporary studio. As long as I have my laptop and my drawing supplies, I can virtually work anywhere and that's the beauty of being a freelance illustrator. Got my coffee. And my honey curler. Mmm. So I don't know what's going on, but it's really nice outside. Shouldn't jinx it. As you saw, I was able to pick up the wheels for my Mazda Presidia. So they're 4 by 100 17 inch wheels. And I didn't want to make it awkward by bringing my DSLR inside, but they did say that I can film with my GoPro. So sometimes having a smaller camera comes in handy. There it is guys, bronze face with a silver lip. So now I'm just gonna put the rest of the wheels in the MX-3 and I'll show you what I ended up grabbing at the JDM store. Back in my studio space. So when you first get a car, you're really excited but you don't really have that much money because you just bought a car. So what do you do? You just gotta get the Ricer Boy stuff out of the way. So can't really blame me for spending a little bit of money on the cheap cosmetic stuff first. So she hooked me up with air fresheners, which is why I went to the store in the first place. But then I ended up picking these up, again for the Mazda. A new lanyard, a Mazda license plate frame, white LED bulbs for the interior dome light, and I also got this wide angle polarized mirror by Broadway. So I'm just gonna chill in the studio for a bit. I'm still waiting on word to see if I can head over to Ben's garage um, to get my Mazda Presidia checked out. So I would have had to come home anyway to switch cars, but for now I think I'm just gonna keep editing videos. All right, we got word from Ben saying we can head on over. So I'm just gonna bring my ricey stuff with me and install it there. Also shout outs to Casey's mom, uh, the person at the Mega Zone for giving me an extra gift. Yes. Okay, so we got the wide angle. So JDM, bro. Woo! What you know about that seatbelt cushion? And that new Mazda lanyard, yo! Okay. Woo! Also, I installed this. So I got all our wheels in here, so now we're off to draw out automatic. Yo, I really have to stop doing that. That Casey Neistat thing. Everybody's starting to do that thing. It's okay. I mean, he didn't invent that gesture, but everyone's starting to do it in their vlogs, and now I'm starting to do it, and it's terrible. Now we're off to Joyrod Automotive. <laughs> oh man, this is really rusty. Oh, here too. Oh, this thing's not even connected. What the fuck? Yeah, never had a chance to check that out. Got a subscriber. Hey, what's up? You have an Instagram handle? Yeah, I, it's like Coromars. 
pretty sweet, yeah, dude. Probably. Yeah, I'll make sure to tag you, but <laughs> pretty sweet. All right, so while Ben's working on Bromar's car, just putting on some winter tires, I am changing the dome light in my car to the LED ones that we bought earlier, these ones, and I'm just hoping I got the right size. Finally figured out how to take it off. Here's what the light looks like. Now we're gonna switch it up. So here's the bulb size, 168. So we're just gonna stick it in there. And before you put the dome light cover back on, you wanna make sure it actually works. Dope. Tight, eh? It's like, <laughs> Fisher Price. Oh yeah, there you go, eh? All right. So now you want to uh, heat up the wire. And you let the wire melt the solder. You don't want to put the solder directly on the iron. You want to feed it into the wire. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a fucking excellent fucking solder. That's just awesome. It's beauty. That ain't going nowhere. That's all it takes. And then we insulate it with some electrical tape. Enjoy your ride, peace! So we got the interior lights working again. The power locks work. The radio is working. Now I don't know if this comes standard in all MX3s, but the dash lights are green. That's freaking awesome. Also, it's not 1221, that's the wrong time. Sick. Look how bright these LED lights that I just installed are. You can see everything. I'll see you guys back at the studio. And by studio, I meant garage. So I picked up some Wendy's because I'm starving and we're gonna install this Mazda license plate frame. Again, racer boy stuff, you know? Right now my license plate is being held up by these twisty tie things. So, not the best. So I'm actually gonna drill out some holes for this. Dude, this place is awesome! I honestly think that this was a really good investment for me. It's good enough, dude. I have to put these tires away anyway. So we'll lay them down right here for now. Oh! Now, the reason why I need to drill my own holes is because there are none. <laughs> And these square ones are ratchet. I, don't, I have no idea. The previous owner just used zip ties to tie his license plate to the car. But I want it to be a little more secure than that, even though this car is pretty ratchet. <laughs> Whatever, dudes. So Ben says you can get my new winter tires for the new wheels for the MX-3 tomorrow. So that's awesome. So I'll just finish this up and then we'll go back to the actual home studio, the art studio. I might actually also be leasing a part of this garage to one of the locals members. So you guys are just gonna have to wait and see who it is. They're gonna be storing their car in this garage and I'm just gonna be subleasing it. So they're gonna be paying me monthly because he also has a winter beater and he's not gonna be using his car in the winter. So yeah, that's what the space is for, right? So instead of drilling, I actually found these bolts. Um, which were supposed to be for my rally backer wide body, but I didn't end up using them and these actually work perfectly So what I've done is I've actually placed one of the screw holders in the back And I'm gonna do that on the other side and then I can just use this to screw in my license plate Nice oops Well, that was easy Cool, easy cake. Let's see what else. Maybe this will fit. No way. <laughs> Maybe I can make it work. So this is actually a gurney flap that's made for the spoiler of an Integra. But if you compare that spoiler to this particular spoiler for the MX-3, they actually look really close. Why I bought this, don't ask. 
Well, actually, it was supposed to be for my nurse spec spoiler, which is also right here. But I ended up making a custom gurney flap for this guy. Oh, so sad. It's just collecting dust. So, who knows? This looks pretty decent. I'll make it work, okay? I'll make it work. Oh, look at that rust. I promise you guys, when I have time, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to fix this. I kind of have an idea of how I'm going to do it, so uh, we'll just give it a shot. I promise a video of how to fix this will come out on this channel. We'll save this for another day. Check that out, paying homage to my FRS. And also what's on my hoodie right now. Exact same. <laughs> and on my shirt. Jeez, man, look at me. Repping my brown like it's all I own. Sick. King's Book Rise. Okay, let's go. Okay, it's been a very long day. You guys suck. I hate you all very much. Just kidding, I would never say that. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys want to get updated on when new videos come out on this channel, you know what to do. Oh look, more ricey stuff I can put in the MX3. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you on the next video. Peace out and keep moving. Just kidding, I ain't gonna pull a TJ Hunt. I think this is the part where I'm supposed to come out with some outro phrase, but I have nothing. So, meh. I'm in the shadow.